Engineer 775. We're working on a upgrade to a system that, man, I don't even have a video. I might have a video of this from 10 years ago, eight years ago. I can't remember when we, this was put in. So we're going to upgrade to a Solark because the XW cannot, doesn't have the capability of um, working behind the meter. Uh, and selling everything to the house. So we're going to be putting CTs in a Solark 12K, uh, Fortress batteries, and getting rid of the charge controllers, of course, and reworking this whole system. We're adding a 13 kilowatt Cummins generator just outside this wall. We're also doing some well work way down there. We're going to replace pumps, add generators, upgrade solar, and just give this thing a complete makeover. And... Uh, so right now I'm just decommissioning, tearing, tearing it down. Guys, we're gonna put 40, 40 panels on the roof. Um, there are 30 there currently. We're adding uh, 10, so we'll have four strings of 10 coming down to the Solark. And we're gonna use some of the existing hardware that was put in here. There's combiners and conduits. So we're gonna salvage as much as we can. And uh, especially on the roof, there's gonna be a lot of extra home runs. The cool thing about upgrading from a lower voltage charge controller to a higher voltage system is the wires are always oversized, and that's not a problem. Okay, uh, i got to get to work. All right, I wanted to show you the roof on this upgrade. This is the third upgrade to the solar on this roof. The original solar you can see was the Cenevas, and then we went to these Cenevas, and then today we're adding some Q cells, 10 Q cells, rewiring everything. This was all 150 volt charge controllers. So uh, that is what had to be done. And they're also, it's an EMP hardened system. So every panel needed to be dressed with cores and uh, just a, a beautiful spot up here today with the, with the buzzards. And the hawks chasing the buzzards. Oh, anyway, um, the solar is. Um, I think they're gonna have, gonna have a just the right shy. It's gonna be about ten kilowatts. I forgot. Some of these are two sixties and some are two forties. This is old school. And then this is gonna be thirty four hundred watts on that. So they're working on the home runs and the bonding and uh, MP hardening stuff and all that. So. I don't know what they're saying. Uh, <laughs> so it's just nice up here. But, uh, I know. Forty-five years turned into a piece of beef jerky. <laughs> it's always good to work with Johnny. You never know what he's going to do or say. That was pretty good, you know. Right. All right. Well, I guess I got to go back down. Make sure Willis is. Doing all right. We're just saying about Okay, got a lot of work to do in here. We we're gonna replace the well pump. Before we can do that, we gotta replace the simple pump. And uh, we got a lot to do in here. We got the Dankov booster is in here. We've got charge controllers, disconnect solar, probably pull these batteries out. We got a lot of plumbing, filtering. There's the handle. Okay, handle's in here. We go from inch and a quarter to one inch PVC. All right, might have to get a union. Oh, wow. Might have to just rebuild this whole thing. Yeehaw. Can't remember which way this goes. House. Um, looks like it goes straight down. We got a lot of work to do in here. It's a good thing that I'm not It's a long a day on a solar you job. Don't know, you don't know how we gotta go to the hotel. I don't know why Willis is back on a skateboard. The guy just broke his femur. He's a... What? What are you doing, Willis? You chilling? In the air, 
preachers all over. Killing's, Killing's begun. begun. Oh my goodness. This is how electricians bond. This is the definition of the true brown bond. It's supposed to be a sad song. It's like, Luke Skywalker loved his sister. He didn't know he she was his sister. He loved her so. I'm so low. He loved her more. Day three of our upgrade, the propane company showed up. This is going to be awesome. We're going to be able to test the generator charging batteries before we leave, hopefully. Um, we landed the generator in this outside switches that is also functioning as our AC disconnect. But we'll have a buy. This is either grid or generator that is feeding both. This top is actually feeding into the uh, inverter. And then at the inverter, we have a bypass of grid or solar. So two pipe, two bypasses were put in, and then we removed the interlock system from the gen existing generator panel. So now he's going to run on solar. And the only time he's going to need this generator is uh, if the power's out for an extended period of time and the battery condition drops down to probably around 30%. Then the generator will fire using a two-start control two-wire start control or he can come out and manually start it at any time but it will it is set up to exercise bi-weekly uh, bi-monthly for about 10 minutes and i set it to like midnight so it would wake them up when they were sleeping no i'm just kidding the homeowner's standing next to me so i just had about, about five o'clock five o'clock friday night <laughs> when they have guests we'll just fire up the generator though it's pretty quiet anyway that's the plan on the jenny they're plumbing the gas in now so I'm actually going to be able to test it before I leave, which is wonderful. And we've got the well pump up and running. I'll go see see how the guys are doing. I put the hand pump back in. So we're putting in the hand pump now. Antonio stole my job. Oh, no. <laughs> how dare you, Antonio, steal my job. And Abraham, he stole my job. We're putting in the hand pump now. We just finished putting in a Grunfoss SQ Flex pump. Soft start to uh, just complement the solar system we just put in. We took out a beast of a run faucet. It was working fine, but it's been in for a long time, 14 years, I believe. So we replaced that with a soft start. And thankfully we were able to put it on the existing uh, wire and pipe that was in there. So that saved us a bunch of time. We mounted the well wheelie up there in the corner. That saved us, saved our backs. The old well wheelie right there. So it's been a good upgrade. We were working on water. Um, we also took and moved, and uh, we've talked about mini splits a lot. This uh, customer lives near where there's a carrier dealer, and they added these nice systems, one for the master bedroom and one for the downstairs. And so we moved this circuit into the critical loads panel so they will run on solar he has a water furnace heat pump we just it's such a big load we just they don't need that long-term outage they'll be able to stay warm or cool and uh oh they're on tech support in here with these fortress batteries right now so i'm not gonna come in here and film i'll, I'll come in here later I'm not sure about the current control board. That's John Comer on sure tech support. On We're talking EMP um, parts. Oh, cool. We're also, we have our, our Solark pre-made cables now for the E-Volts. So... Can this old Solark, yeah. can the old, can the classic talk to, can the e Classic talk to the Solark? 
Yeah. It can. One or two. Two. It can. Yeah. So how do you get that going? All right, day three wrap up. Batteries are back in place. I'm still tidying things up and ready to put the gutter cover on. Uh, we've got the uh, system program in the right settings with the CT, so we're not exporting, but we are offsetting this panel. This was a generator panel and a backup panel. We have made them both backup panels. We've put in our traditional bypass, and this bypass can be either grid or generator. And this is the normal operation that is down. We got our monitoring set up. Everything's working good. We're bringing about five kilowatts down from the roof. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, battery combiners are in the gutter, hidden away. We've got, uh, use the, the power distribution block again for the solar coming down from the roof. They. Uh, this is the first one where we've actually taken three strings of older solar arrays or strings and paralleled them. So we have more than two strings per MPPT. So we have to fuse each string with a 15 amp fuse to protect that MPPT, protect each string basically. And so that's done. And we've done some generator testing. Gas company was able to come today. So I was able to do the two wire test on the Jenny is great and we can select between we can select between generator oh i'm gonna have to turn the power off to get this back on oh okay i'll do that in a second and then uh gas company came out we're good to go and then i put this back in i put this back in uh, enabled and then we are on remote and standby, so it's ready to two-wire start. So that is cool. And that's the little Cummins 13 kW propane or natural gas generator. So that is good. We finished our well work, finished our solar work. We moved air conditioners over, so they've got backup mini splits in strategic places in the home. Batteries are grounded, just kind of covering everything that we've done on the system and oh everybody's getting tired time to load up time to load everything up and go home <laughs> <laughs>